Hello. There Hello we go. Hello now. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And as we get started here, this is our Strength and Swings class, where we'll do a nice light warm up and then grab our bell and start pressing and getting up and swinging it. I'll let you know what to do. All but right. first, let's warm up. We'll follow along with Lauren for a moment, but first, let's check in with the body with me. Take a big breath into the belly, looking to make room, separate, fill it full like a balloon. And on your exhale, pull that belly to spine, slowly exhaling through the nose. Then do it again, breathe into the belly, fill it full, and slow exhale, belly to spine. Now maintain that light abdominal tension down below and focus on breathing into the chest for two. In slow, slow exhale. That belly is still towards the spine. One more time, breath into those rib spaces and exhale. Let's return to the belly and take a big breath in. Make room nice and full. Let's hold for four seconds full and exhale for four seconds. Repeat that effort into the belly. Inhale for four. Hold full for four. Exhale for four. And let's hold empty for four. Then into the chest, breath in slow for four seconds full. Hold. Slow exhale. Also hold empty here, and a slow breath in one more time. Then exhale, hold empty for four seconds. The last part of this drill is to brace those abdominals now and continue to breathe for about 10 seconds. In the nose, out the mouth, or nose, your call, but keep your tension on those abs, and then reset. And take a big belly breath in for the very last one. And then exhale, pulling the belly button to the spine. Now brace over top of that, and for 10 more seconds, I don't need to test that. I can hear it from here. We got washboard abs on Lauren, so easy on the off shake. To the ground we go, and to that we'll do our sissy squat progression. We'll go knees over toes. I see squats on the menu coming up here, so work those knees over toes, and then extend the hips. This time again, knees over toes. Can we extend those hips like a hip bridge from here? Lauren has a beautiful straight line through her shoulders, hips, and knees. Now pull back under and extend through. Now down on those flat feet, then get that lunge foot ready for those get-ups and hold for a couple extra seconds. Then heels down and hips through. Let's add that hip bridge movement on those demi points. We'll go knees over toes lifting the heels, and now we're hip extending to find that nice line, knees, hips, shoulders, then bring the hips underneath, heels to the ground, extend to tall. The last one will get to the floor here. The knees over toes, then peel those heels up and sink in your toe squat. Might we try that hip extension from down here just for one, own, hold, use your spots, Bring the hips underneath, and then let's connect hands to the ground and assemble in our quick kneel, excuse me, our quick wrist warm up. Pull the hands to the knees so much that the shoulders might drift over the fingertips, extending on the wrist. Then push the floor forward, keep the tailbone and elbows long or straight, and then pull forward. Connect to that ground, press forward again, and one last repetition, pull, Create that tension to pull forward and then push so much, like finishing a free throw, and shake it out the wrists. Turn the wrists to the quarter turn now where the fingertips face the side. Fingertips land first, callus lines, and then palms. I'll press to my right, shifting my weight to the left. Feel the preload and then push left and go to the right. The preload is that slack. Pick up that slack, feel the firmness of the floor, one or two more here, and my last repetition, I'll push to the right to center, and then press through both hands, extending through. From here, a quick lunge. We can hip hike and pull down, and hip hike and pull down, and for slow and control, reps one more, 
level out those hips. Then we can scoop or tuck under and tip away in those hips and visualize very modest cat-cow shapes in the low hip and holy cow, that might open a quad. You're tucked under right now. Tucked under. Then tip away and now find center. Then from there, wiggle out to the side and let's do the same thing. Hike a hip, pull down a hip. A couple more. Nothing ballistic, but just nice and controlled as you go. Find level. And now if we scoop under or a posterior tip, follow that with our tailbone to the back or the anterior tip. One or two more of each. Squeeze the butt cheek in the back to elicit that front quad. And one more time. Then finish center. Bring that leg to center. And then underneath with control. Switch to the other side. Tuck the toe in the back the way Lauren's showing there if we can. It will be different on the knee, so challenge as you need. From here, we'll hip hike John Travolta style, pulling on down, up high, down low, aiming to create level. Then we'll do that tuck under with a butt cheek squeeze to whew, open up that quad space and then tip your tailbone to the back. Couple more of those, tuck. Feel that scissor action in the hips and then tip away and then in a centered position, level hips, heel toe the leg out to the side. From here, it's the same thing. Let's hike a hip and pull down. The shoulders don't move. The energy is in those hips. I'm level, you level? Level. Then tuck under with that scoop, squeeze your back butt cheek, gently tip the tailbone away. Again, pull underneath, squeezing your butt, and then to the back. Find center, heel toe to the center again in the lunge, and then underneath. From here, we'll get in the lunge one last time. This is that windmill component of the get up. Open up that upper back. Heel toe out to the side and take the arm of the leg out to the side across the chest. At the head neck, chin tuck and rotate to the leg facing lateral. Then let the rib cage or sternum catch up. Add that rotation next. Like the windmill in the getup, let's hinge on the hip, place a hand on the floor, and then load up over top. Change your gaze to have your head look at the floor, and then let your upper body catch up. Look up to the ceiling with the head neck, then press the floor away, rotating through the body. One last repetition, we'll have the head and neck look at the ground, come back to center, and last repetition up is looking head and neck first, Rotate through the body and then push the floor away. Heel toe that leg to center. Keep the back hip extended as you pull underneath and then same effort on the other side. Heel toes out just like Lauren's doing. Then my right leg is lateral. So that same hand combination across the chest. Add the rotation at the head and neck first. Then like fastening a seatbelt, catch the sternum or rib cage up to where the head is. From here, we'll hinge on the hip. We'll place a hand on the floor, stack, look at the hand on the ground, and then let the rib cage catch up with that action. Head and neck first, look up with the eyes, face, and then through the rib cage. Pull the armpit low, and then look to the ground with the head. Rotate with those shoulders, and our last repetition, look up, rotate ribs, press the floor away, Extend back to center, and then carry under. Woo! Hands to the floor. We'll do our down dog style up here. With the hands on the ground, aim to hover the knees by pressing the hands forward and pulling the femur heads into the hips. From there, lift the buttocks to the ceiling, keeping the spine nice and long, and breathe as you try to work those heels to the floor. Come on back down to that bear hover position. Pull those heads of femurs in to tip the hips a little bit again. Maintain the integrity of the low back as you extend to the down dog or roof shape here. Tailbones to ceiling, knees straightening, heels towards floor. One last time, we'll go bear hover. Tip the tailbone back. Extend the knees with patience and stretch from the strength. And then, anyhow you got, Walk back towards a hinging position, extend those hips through, and at this place, I'm done that warm up. Check in with your body. How did that feel? 
If it feels great, let's let Lauren take us into more strength. All right, let's get going. We'll step into our squat stance. From there, feel that pull on the floor and continue to pull those legs in to pull ourselves to that nice low squat. In your safe low squat, the knees are working towards over the toes. This is allowed. Our spine is nice and extended and our heels are on the floor. From here, we'll break a couple rules. Walk ourselves out first into that high plank position. In your high plank position, your hips are tucked under, your glutes are squeezed, your core is braced, and you're imagining they're at the top of your swing today for four, three. Now keep that tension, adjust your hands as needed into a push up position, and slowly descend down in your push up for three, two, and then push back up. From there, step your feet to that squat stance. Push your hands forward to send your hips back into your low squat. Nice extended spine and hook to tall. We'll grab a kettlebell and we'll start getting warmed up with some single arm stop swings. So depending on how you're feeling and the kettlebell of your choice, we have it out front. We're gonna get right into our stop swings. So setting up behind that bell, hip hinge. Grip the bell with one hand, packing that shoulder and bracing the core. From here, one full swing through and park. Let's repeat on that same arm. Pull, swing, through, park. One more time. Plank at the top and park. Up without, shake, do the same thing on the other side. As we do this, we have that breath from our warm up here. So pull, core brace, through, and park. Repeat. Matching that breath to the hips, driving through, and park. Up without, shake and breathe. <laughs> Move that bell as needed, and we'll do our squat to push up routine one more time. Coming down into that squat. Feel that pull, controlling the down. <clears throat> Sorry, frog. Then we'll walk out into that high plank. In that high plank position, imagine you're at the top of the swing we just practiced. Glutes, abs, breathing, holding, high tension. Adjust your hands as needed. Keep the tension high, slow push up. Get as close to the floor as you can and back up. Push those hips back as you drive your hands forward. Walking back to your low squat. Hang out for a second, and then to tall. Nice. Progressing those single arm stop swings to single arm stop cleans. We'll set up just the same as we did, but this time, clean to rack, through, and park. Repeat, three each side. Setting up behind your bell. Grip, tip, pack your shoulder, pull, Sorry, <laughs> zip, through, and park, repeat, pull, zip, through, park. Last time, both hips come through here in that plank position, through, and park. Let it go, stand up without. As we're doing those cleans, remember, you need that light grip to punch through, but a firm enough grip so you don't drop your belt. Be Goldilocks. Hip hinge, grip, pack, pull, punch, through, and park. Pull, imagining there's that wall in front of you as you're doing this. So keeping the bell nice and tight to the zipper and park with control. Up with it. Whew, not bad. Nice. All right, I thought we'd rip out some swings right away. Just get them done. Three rounds only. The way it's gonna go is the I go, you go. So you pick either Team Lauren or Team Ian. Swing with one of us, don't swing with both of us. I'm going to start, whoops, I'm going to start five, just sets of five single arm swings. I go right, Ian goes right. I go left, he goes left. Three rounds. Like Lauren cued us in the warm up there, tie the breath to your swing. It's the haya exertion when the bell is exploding away from the hips. Pattern that breath, powerful each exhale with each swing. And then as you're done, slow down that breath and shake it out. It's important to Ian's team, team Ian, go five swings. It's important to tie that breath so that we have that core brace protecting our spine and keeping us strong and stable. Second hand. Five reps goes quick. Add those wiggles. 
And again, check in, left side, power. Keep the shoulder blade retracted, let the hips do the work, and that core brace for safety and strength. All right, team Ian, second arm here. Remember to always set up with control, swinging every rep nice and strong, and trying to end in that uh, chest height position with your shoulder retracted. Round two here. There are some slight variations. You could finish at the top in that rack position with the off arm, or with both hands extended, shadowing that swing. Both are right. We both prefer that rack. It's a powerful feeling. Team Ian. Round two, ding, ding. Five swings again. Each time loading up those hips to drive through, like a slingshot. And park. Second side. Powerful like that in those swings. And graceful in the park, nice and quiet and efficient. The breath, the power is there. Also keep track. All right, team Ian. Round two, second side. That shoulder's packed. We're square at the top of our swing. Both hips drive through on that swing. Last round. I feel my one leg kind of winging out on me. So I'll really concentrate this next set on pressing my feet into the ground to create stability and power for the swing. Whew. Round three, team in here. Pull that bell, engaging the lat. Keeping the lat engaged the whole time. Almost imagining you're juicing an orange in the armpit a little bit. Keep that stability. Ooh, the connection to that load. It starts with that firm grip in the hand, and then as Lauren's alluding to, that shoulder pack, connecting it to the core and the hips. Five reps, nice and quick. Last set. Last set, team Ian. Finish up these last five reps here, just like you started. Pick up the bell with control, park the bell with control. Every set. Last one, park. Take a couple breaths off. Not too much rest though, because we have more things to do. Today, we're gonna get back to a get up, one on one arm, followed by one on the other arm. Then we'll stand up. We'll take either the same bell or a different bell. Start with one, clean and press. Park, same thing on the other side. Get ups are gonna stay singles, one and one. Clean and presses are gonna go ones, twos, maybe threes, two, one. So do we leave it up and get down, get up on, sorry? What? No, get up, get up, then stand up. Got it. Clean press. Okay. So one full get up each side. Then we take a little Ooh. get up break and do some cleans and presses. Come on down to the floor. With the kettlebell of your choice, first get up. Pick a side, cuddle, roll press. Use that hip extension to pull on the elbow. Find in the hand, both those shoulders stay packed as you sweep. Use the hip extension to press through on that e lunge, using those, both those legs, controlling the down, and that windmill, just as we warmed up, rotating around your bell. Finish on your back with control. Two hands pull down and cuddle. Take your time. Get-ups are not about speed. Got it. Good. <sighs> that goes for the entire world out there. All right. Same thing on the other side. They're meant to be done slow and controlled. Here we go, other side. Hip extension, pull. Finding that hand, lifting and sweeping. Taking your time, one position at a time, making each position distinct from the last. Pulling the bell down with control. No rules, stand up. And now it's when we do our clean and press. I'm gonna go, one clean press, then Ian, then me, then Ian. Give a little time off in between. Nice. So zip up that coat into that rack position, <laughs> full body tension to press. Pull down, solid Lauren, solid. All right, Ian, one clean, one press. When you're pressing, think about sending energy down to get your bell overhead. Quads engage, butts engage, core engage, just like your plank. Second side. You got it, Lauren. That full body tension in the plank aims to help 
brace and stabilize that load overhead. Solid reps again, same side, same, same deal other side. So taking your time in between reps, but being strong, getting that belt overhead and controlling the down. Taking a couple seconds off, but not too many seconds because we get back to the floor to do round two of get ups. Just to spice it up, I'm gonna start on my other arm. So every other time, starting on my non-dominant side. You don't have to listen, you can do whatever you want, but I recommend trying it. Mix it up. Here we go. Get up. Nice and controlled up and down. Looking at your bell as you go, rotating around it. <laughs> Not letting the bell pull our wrist into that flexion. Controlling down and cuddling. Nice. Take your time. It may take time to get used to that load on the back of your arm. That's normal. I call it building up your arm meat. That arm meat. You just need to get a little thicker skin as per life. So this is life lesson today brought to you by oh. Lauren. Cuddle. Roll press. Here we go. Hip drive both. And sweeping. Sweat, We're rotating. Sweat the eye makes get ups harder. Rotating around that bell. Taking your time on the lunge down, keeping a nice extended spine on that lunge. And control down. Pulling the bell down and cuddling and taking your time but not too much time to get to standing. Awesome. Nice. So I said here, we try to add a rep. So I'm gonna do a clean and a press, followed by another clean and a press for two total. Sounds good. So it goes from the floor to the rack and pressing overhead with full tension. Then pull to the rack, back to the hike pass, and then into the rack, and again, great press. Two reps, solid. All right. Ian's team, first side, a clean. Adjust your stance as needed to press. You may have noticed I took that step to narrow my base. I do that when my bell is a little bit heavier. A lighter bell, I can get away with a wider stance, but I do adjust my stance. Just make sure it's purposeful and not a sloppy step. We wanna find that Goldilocks bell for you in your practice. We're able to do it with integrity and strength, and also that stance that fits just right for you. Your legs are different. Your body is different, but our passion for pressing stays the same here. Passion Two. for pressing. Pressing. Passion pressing. Whew. I ran out of peace. All right. Same thing. Team Ian. Second side. One clean, one press. Glutes or squeeze, core is brace on that pull down. Imagine you're doing a chin up. Really engage that lat to keep the vertical forearm. And then park the bell with control. Wipe the brow, take a sip, shake it out, back to the floor. I'm getting back down, and this time I'm back to that dominant side to do my get up on first. You know what? You might have caught me. I didn't do my clean press on my non dominant side first. I saw that. Did you? I did. No, I didn't, but oh. I saw it. Whoopsies. So I, it's hard to keep track of everything. Hard to keep track and give life lessons. All right, here we go. One full get up on this side. Both legs here, nice long spine. Controlling the down, keeping that core brace as to not arch the low back in our lunge position. And control to your back. Ah, ah is right. One second or two. Rotating yourself around the bell. Make sure your butt goes close to the bell, not your head. Yeah. Not recommended. There you go. Life lesson number three. Cuddle. That's enough. That's enough of those. That's enough of those today. All right. Cuddle. Roll press. Here we go. Get up number six. Working yourself back down, rotating. 
making sure you stack those shoulders before you bring the leg through on your sweep. And when you get to that elbow, press away from the elbow to keep your shoulder packed the whole time. Come on up. Oh, I'm going up on those pistol squats. I'm missing those pistol squats from oh. weeks before there, Lauren. Well, take note. Yeah. Bring those back soon. Great. All right, this is the peak of our pyramid of the cleans peak. and presses. I'm gonna go for three, three, clean press, clean press, clean press. I'm gonna start with my non dom inside just to make up for the last time. There we go. That shoulder is packed and the full body tension is there. That's one press. It's back to the rack, in the rack, Hiya! effort on the press. Press off to the side, we'll catch our breath, head back to our bell. Yeah, Lauren, yeah, you. How are you pressing at home? Let us know. We'd love to hear from our members. All right. Team me in here, first clean. When you bring that clean to that rack position, everything's already engaged. You have that nice base to be able to press out of. Don't spend too long in your rack position. It's in, it's out. Too long in your rack. The press might not get up. Common fact. Whew. Second side. That's our threes. So you get three on the other side as well. As Lauren has alluded to, she steps in on the press, slightly out on that clean. Assemble together, tension up and press. Back to rack. Awesome. You can hear that slight skip in the hand where that bell jumps. That's that loose hand grip Lauren talked about, allowing you to go up the body and into the rack. Hmm. All right. Second side, peak of the pyramid here for Ian as he cleans and gets that bell overhead. Tension-filled core, tension-filled quads, pushing down to get up and keeping that lat engaged so our shoulder doesn't shrug up into our ear. That'll be a limiting factor in your press if you try to push through that. Nice. Sometimes it's a grind. That's okay. Yeah, that was harder. Not to call it out or anything. Oof. All right, a couple seconds off. Not too many, sorry. Must be get up time. It's get up time. I think it's harder for us, team Ian, okay? Harder for us today, a little less rest. That's sorry. A violin, I think Lauren's playing. Yeah, it too. was. All right. All right, so this is where I would get back to that non dominant side. I've just lost track, but this one's for you, lefties. Here we go. Nice full get up. That sweep, keeping those Remember to hinge on the hip so that hand finds the floor and control the down. Check in with what the woo was for. Yeah. Make sure everybody's okay. Everything's okay. What happened? Just a little wobbly on that lunge. Were you thinking about your getup or were you thinking about something else? Most of my getup. Okay. Then there was no excuse. <laughs> Sometimes your mind wanders and that's He's where the wobbles today. come in. It's tough today. Yeah. Same thing, second side. This is getup number eight. Here we go. Up and down. So right here, toes tucked already. So when you get into that lunge, no need to do anything other than press the floor away. Away from the elbow and control. Nice. One more stand up. Well, there'll be more stand ups than that. <laughs> Liar. Yeah. <sighs> All right, we're on our way back down that pyramid. So we're back to twos. If twos are not appropriate for you, maybe you're doing one. Maybe you're just cleaning to rack and holding and thinking about your press. You got also it. Also great. Those positional holds like the rack, the suitcase, or even overhead aim to increase your strength and your awareness in each position. Maybe you're just using your body weight, chop and pop. Work on your groove, build your strength. Finish with strength and control. Let's do it. Whew. Whew. Number two. All right, twos. One strong clean, both hips drive through. Uh, foundation is strong to get the bell towards overhead. One more zip and yep. Nice. And parking with control as you picked up. 
Whew. Shaking it out in between. And approach that bell with confidence. This will be going up. Pull it down with the rack. Hike pass. And a last rep for Lauren here. Good press. And pull. Hmm. Okay. We also Great. have two. Set up your hinge. And let's go. Second last clean press set here. Using both those hips. Driving through. Good. That off hand also helps. So it's light. And then power in the off arm. Send the bell overhead. Down with control. Give you a couple extra seconds off. I know. Does that mean we have one more get up here? Yep. All right. I like 10 get ups. I think it's a nice number. Oh. Makes you work, but hopefully you feel like you could finish and do more. But there's no need to do more. Good, good, good. More is sometimes just more. 10 good ones. Here we go. 10 good ones. Number nine and 10. All right. Last get up on this arm. Here we go. Keep it tidy. It's the last one. So focus on what you're doing. And last, get up down on this side. As you rotate around the bell, stacking the shoulders and pressing away, pulling down and returning to the bell, the bell to the floor. Move your body around the bell and do the same thing. No need to sing, Lauren. <laughs> On the other side. Okay. All right. Last get up. Number 10. Here we go. <sighs> Hip drive. Ooh. Toe is tucked. <laughs> Back down by scissoring the hips. Last time to the floor. Bell comes down. And then this for real will be the last time standing, at least in this practice today. One. One clean. One press. Hmm. Finishing like you could do it again, as Lauren said, but know that this will be that last set. <laughs> Beautiful clean, beautiful press, efficient on the dismount. Let's replicate that team Ian. One more clean and press on this side here. It's tight into the rack. It's driving down to go overhead and controlling the descent. The last clean and press of the day today. Whew. Hike pass, rack, full body tension and press. Pull like it's easy. By this point in the workout, we all know it's not. And let's go one more time. Or maybe it is. Last time. Clean it. Oh, press it. Nice. Pull it down with control. Excellent. Well, that felt great. You know yeah. what would feel also great? Finishing with some Tell more me, swings. Lauren. I'm in. Finishing with some more swings. Sounds good. Great. We're going to do the same routine we did earlier, which was the I go, you go. Five, 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 five. Three rounds. Simple, not easy, but efficient. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with that other arm today. Five single arm swings. Five reps, so we'll rest here and just watch Lauren, catch your breath, working on that technique. The feet are super heavy into the floor. Fifth rep, she'll park, then team us, let's hinge, and do it again for five. Five strong reps, each set, or each, Rep, sorry. Make sure you're loading up those hips so those hips are really reaching back each time. Whew. On that last rep, park it and come up mostly the same, working the hinge. Park with integrity, power through the swings like Lauren, and body weight. Come up in that nice hip extension. Hmm. Second side of round one here for Timmy and finishing out this round one of three, nice and strong. Whatever that off arm does, keep it consistent. Here we go, round two. Mm, this path, the breath, the full body tension. Power it up, finish strong. On that last repetition, park. Set of two for five reps, rather. At the top of that swing, the arm is packed, the shoulder, sorry, the arm is extended, the shoulder is packed. Play that little game of chicken on the way down. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Better move. 
Oop, don't rush the hinge on the down. Hmm, you're staying in that plank as long as possible and then staying in that hinge as little as possible. I might have done that wrong. There we go. See, when you Oop. start with your different arm, you get confused. All right. Second side here, Ian. Five swings, two. Shoulder packed, core brace, butt squeeze every time. Ooh. Ah, there we go. We have one more set here. Left or right side. Let's just make sure you do both arms here. In slow, out slower if you're recovering and match that power to your breath if you're swinging. Last hmm. set on this right side for me. Let's do it. Last round. Breathing. Still keeping that strength, still keeping that power. If you need to drop a rep or two to keep that power up, please do so. Nice. Last round. The swing standard stays the same. It's gently, but full out. That you can do it again, and that every rep is given that same attention to power and control. Awesome, Lauren, shake it out. Shake yeah, it out. Last side. Team in to finish up us, us up here. Five swings, bringing it home, keeping the power, keeping the strength. Once you're done, that bell parks with control. Stand up, shake it out. Let's finish with a nice breathing exercise to slow it down. So with our mouth closed, we're breathing in and out our nose. Maybe one hand belly, maybe one hand chest, just to feel where your air is going. Exhale, inhale for four. And exhale for four. Inhale to belly for four. Hold that breath for four. Exhale for four. Repeat again into the belly for four. Hold for four. Let's fill the chest for four. And exhale for four. Hold empty for four. Breathe into the belly for four. Hold for four. Chest for four. Hold for four. Exhale four. Last one, hold empty for four. Three, two. Easy off. Easy, baby. Easy, easy. <laughs> off. Nice. Well, thank you for joining us tonight in our strength and swings class. Feels good. Nope. Got a little sweat. Got, got a little pump. Yeah. Working on our cleans and presses, and that will progress. Should we tell them about next week? Next week, we're on holiday. Going on vacation. Yay! A little road trip you across too. Canada. Take a break. Take a week off. You enjoy it. You we, deserve it. We are bringing a kettlebell with us to do some presses and swings along the way, so stay tuned for some updates. But there will be, for our members in that link letter, an archived workout for you to work at. Also, enjoy the summer. Do what you need. Check in with that body. And we'll be back for new strength and swings on the 10th of August. So stay tuned. Until then, stay strong, take care, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.